What is up my beautiful bitches? Baby, welcome back to my channel. I don't know when was the last time that some of you bitches were here, but baby, I'm back and I'm not going anywhere, all right? So, you might notice, you look a little different, different setup. Baby, this is my new era. I'm entering my beauty guru era 2.0. If you know, you know. For those who don't know, I had a brief history of being a little beauty guru. I used to have PR sent to me and all that type of fun stuff. But that to me was honestly just a vessel for me to start drag. With that being said, I'm going to create kind of like a drag 101 series, kind of like Patrick Star did. But for all you bitches that keep on asking me to be my daughter, first and foremost, I don't want no kids. Baby, I don't want to ruin my body. No, 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 no. No more stretch marks for me, baby. I've had it officially. So listen, this is what we're going to do. With my new videos, I'm going to teach you guys how to shave, how to do your makeup, how to block your brow, and how to honestly achieve the bleach. Today's video, we're going to be working on shaving our faces. Because shaving our face is very important in drag. Okay, so this is what you're going to need to have a flawless, shaven, smooth face. First and foremost, if you can feel it, we can see it. I'm sick of seeing all these blue undertones, especially if you haven't done drag all weekend. Listen, if it's, if it's your fifth gig, I get it. Bitch, we're a little tired and maybe a little irritated, but you shouldn't be, all right? No matter what, suck it up. I also have to say that the more you do it, the easier it gets. First and foremost, in terms of shaving cream, I like to use Cremo. Now, what do I shave with? I use these three apparatus right here. The first one I use is a trimmer. It's a body trimmer. I like to trim and lower all my hairs, my head, because I'm a bald-headed hoe. Trim here, my mustache, my body, yada, yada, yada. Cool. Then, I take a shower. Oh yes, oh yes. Then I jump in the shower and I do my thing. I don't shave in the shower. I used to, but I realized that after the shower, your skin is even softer. All right. In the shower, I might shave my head with my head shaver, which you can see right here, but we'll talk about her in a second. All right, so out of my shower, I'm in front of my mirror. I'm gonna plop some cream oil all over my face and the areas I wanna shave. In this case, specifically my face. I truly suggest, pro tip, if you're only gonna be doing drag like one time, that's it. Like a lot of you guys tend to be more drag enthusiasts versus drag queens, like working ones. So if it's just for fun one day, just trim. Now, if you have to work all weekend, like sometimes I have to do, um, I suggest you, tr uh, you shave, you trim and shave. That way it lasts a little longer. But if you just go with the trimmer, you'll go low enough, you won't even be able to tell, especially with all the stage lights and everything. Trust me. I'm one of the working queens that I speak of. So again, once we're out of the shower, we're gonna apply some cream oil. Lather it all over our faces. Also have a hot cloth, damn cloth. You know what I mean. One of those thingies just so that your pores open up. What I do is, per section, I shave. So let's say for example, I'm gonna shave my, my cheek. I grab my hot washcloth and I press it there as hot as I can stand it. First I use my electric shaver. She's actually for a head shaver, but she works also great for on the skin. And after that, I wipe it again with hot, put a little more cream on there, and then I shave. So I'm gonna give you a cute little demonstration. I'm actually gonna trim in the bathroom just because this is a little messy, but I'm just gonna uh, shave half my face just so you guys can see the difference. Okay, so we're back. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. This is the trimmed side. This is the hairier side. Yes, I have to double check. So this is just with me trimming. Now, hot. It's kind of a little warm right now, but make sure it's hot when you do it. A little cream on. Well, this is more than enough. After I apply that, I'm going to use my skin foil shaver, typically my head, but it's a foil shaver. Any foil shaver will work, I guess. I tried the popular drag queen one, but this is my favorite. She's pretty fierce. I'm sure that you guys can totally tell a difference. This side is really smooth. Look, I go up, can't feel any hair. Maybe a little down here, but up here, very smooth. Up here, obviously not smooth. Pro tip, mustache and goatee should be the area that you really, really focus on getting as low as possible. Let's say that one day you have a night gig, the next day you have a brunch, and you don't want to shave out your face. I mean, you should, but you don't get it as smooth. 
It's okay if you don't get this smooth because baby, we will see it, okay? So lastly, because I'm not done, I wet it again. Should be hot. I'm just gonna, because I'm lazy, I don't want to get up. Put a little more cream on, and then wherever you went over with the foil shaver, go with the Gillette shaver. I genuinely prefer this one, the Gillette Fusion, whatever it's called, I don't know. I truly prefer it, all right? And this is so that you achieve a really flawless face. If you don't shave correctly, your face will look busted. I'm telling you this because I've seen this happen in person. Some of you bitches look busted because of that shadow and I'm sick of seeing it. Try and hide it, mama, like, come on now. I mean, if that's your brand, kudos to you, but half of the time, it's not. I shave up, with my mustache, I'm very careful. All right, so basically that is how I shave my face. If you follow these steps, I promise you will have a flawless, flawless, silky smooth skin. Uh, this is unshaven, as you can tell, no trimmer, no foil shaver, nothing. And then over here, it is our shaven side. All right, if I was in a bathroom, I would be even more thorough. Don't forget your neck, I trim opposite. But yes, I hope that this has been helpful for some of you. Before I forget, my last tip, trim your nose hairs. Aren't you bitches supposed to be women? I'm sick of seeing your nose hairs so long that I could probably braid them, all right? So let's fix that, that would be fab. All right, everybody, catch me in the next video because I'm about to finish this off and I'm doing my makeup. See you guys soon, bye.